Today we're going to have a look at a pen from a brand of which I have reviewed quite a couple of pens, Italics. And Italics can only be purchased through mrpen.co.uk. And uh, I had, I've had i been in touch with Mr. Ford, uh, who operates the site, and he was uh, kind enough to send me one of these pens. Now, this the Italics lineup is increasing quite a lot. And it started with the Parsons Essential, at least I think that was the, the pen that most people considered to be the start of the italics line and interesting pens are added. So far I think my favorite has been the Churchman's Prescriptor and for sure these pens have some of the coolest names in history of the pen world. This is the Commodore's Credential. It comes in the regular cardboard sleeve and in there is this box which you can open up and in there I'm just making sure nothing falls out. In there is a cartridge uh, and of course the pen. Mr. Pen logo, I always enjoyed that, uh, and simple use instructions. And then there is the actual pen. Now, I think this is an interesting pen, and uh, it's all metal, as I think all italics pens have been so far. This one, as you can see, is very shiny, a very nice polished chrome finish, which I really enjoy. And what I also enjoyed is that it's not ultra slim. Now, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and they'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the very top of the cap there, the finial, as you can see, it is cut at this slanted angle. Uh, that too, very reflective. Uh, and then we have the cap. Uh, there is nothing on the cap, and uh, no, no uh, name or engraving, except for this bit right there, which actually says italics. Um, you have a clip, of course, the clip is tight, but it is not so tight that it cannot be used. So I, I like this level of tightness, and um, that's, that's cool. Also has a nice shape. I like the shape of that, that clip. All right, we go down, there is a center band here, but that's not part of the cap, that's actually part of the barrel. But what I do like is that it has this groove on the cap and then this groove on the barrel. So it makes for a nice, visually appealing uh, hole, I would say. That's H-W-O-L-E, not H-O-L-E. Uh, here you have the barrel. The barrel tapers down, then has another nice groove at the end there. Um, I think there is nothing on the barrel, no. The cap unscrews. Like that. And then you have this nib. Now this is an interestingly shaped nib, which as you can see, sort of folds around the feed. The feed is nice and rounded off, uh, and then uh, you have this nib. Now this is the italic medium. It is laser engraved with italics. It has no breather hole, and uh, it, you, you can get these in a whole bunch of, of different specialty sizes. So not just you find medium broad, but also italics and possibly obliques. I forgot about that, but on some of the other uh, italics pens that is often. You have a hour shaped section as you can see there which is plastic little chrome ring there then you have a lot of threads down here uh, these threads you can definitely feel but because they are plastic i didn't find them to be exceptionally sharp and then finally you have a standard international converter which is supplied with the pen and of course you can also use your standard international short cartridges now i wonder if you can just fit one down there and then put another one in. I think that should just fit. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at the size of the pen. I'll give you measurements in a sec. Um, as you can see, not a giant pen, but it's definitely not small. Uh, it does post, but not very securely. Uh, what sometimes works is do the sort of half twist turn that tends to keep a cap a little bit better in place, I, I find. Uh, and then it is fairly heavy. Of course, a lot of metal, so you get a big heavy metal cap at the end. To be honest, for me, it is definitely usable unposted. Okay, section, comfortable, comfortable to hold, and very thin, which you can see here. There is definitely a, a step down from the barrel to the section. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, you're talking about a pen here that costs approximately seventy dollars. Uh, you can also get it in a set with a ballpoint. Of course, that's a bit more expensive. But I think for seventy dollars, you buy a very well-made pen. It feels solid as 
all italics pens I've used so far do. It feels well made and it has a smooth nib. Now of course my nib was ground, uh, Mr. Ford does that himself. Uh, it was ground into a medium italic, uh, but it's a very pleasant nib. Now this nib is uh, marketed as having excellent flow properties and that is what I have found. Uh, I, in, in principle my writing experience has been fairly good. I have had a few instances where it dried out. Now, I don't know whether that was because the feed needed some good cleaning. Uh, so far it seems to be doing pretty well. So that's what I like about it. I like the overall looks and feel and I like the overall writing experience. Now, things I don't like about it so much. I have one thing that I consider relatively major, and that is that when you unscrew the pen, sometimes the section becomes unscrewed. So instead of just taking the cap off, you take the entire pen, uh, sorry, the entire section off. Now, that's why I, when I was putting it back together just now, I was really using a lot of force. If I just screw this back into place as I normally would, that would be something like this. Now, of course, probably not going to happen on video, but you never know. There we go. Now this is unscrewed. I have found that the simpler solution is just to over tighten it a little bit. So when you screw this back into place, it's not a, a, an enormous deal. Just make sure it's in there tightly. Now let's see what happens. This is completely in there. And now it unscrews as it should. So, is that a big deal? Not necessarily. I do think that slight over tightening solves the issue, but if you cannot do that, or if it doesn't work for you, then I can see that that would be an annoyance, because if you want to unscrew the pen every time you unscrew the section, then have to, you know, undo that, put the barrel back in, that is a bit of a bother. So, that is the one issue I have with it, but apart from that, I have not really run into any issues. I'll give you a couple of measurements, and then we go on to the writing section. The Commodore's credential, it has a weight of 36 grams in all, about 18 goes into the gram and 18, sorry, 18 goes into the cap and about 18 grams go into the body. Uh, the cap, uh, capped length is 137.9 millimeters, that's 5.42 inches. Uncapped, it has a length of 122.6 millimeters, that's 4.82 inches. Posted, it's 147.3 millimeters, 5.80 inches. The barrel diameter ranges from 7.4 to 13 millimeters, that's 0.29 to 0.51 inches. And the, um, uh, sorry, that's the barrel diameter. The section diameter is 8.7 to 10 millimeters. That's 0.34 to 0.39 inches. All right, let's see how this pen writes. Hope this was useful so far. I'm glad we see you later. Bye bye. All right, so here we go with the italics. Commodore's Credential. The nib is italic medium and the ink is Ackermann Royal Blue. Let's do a bit of writing. The writing is smooth. I really don't feel any resistance on the paper, which I like. The fast writing. As you can see, there's no skipping, which is very good. Now, as to the wetness of the pen, it is supposed to be a very nice free-flowing nib, and indeed it is. Line variation, of course, this is an italic nib, so because of the shape it offers some natural line variation. But if you push down a little bit on the nib, you can also squeeze out some extra line variation. But again, because of the shape of the nib, that's not really necessary. You can also do reverse writing. You get a finer italic in this case, which can be useful for people who also like to be able to write on forms or something along those lines. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, thanks again 
to Mr. Ford for kindly sending me one of these. Uh, I hope that this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.